Thank you, well, John, in other news, an update on the drone strikes in Yemen that killed dozens of al-Qaeda fighters. Right now, we're working on finding out who exactly was killed in these uh, drone strikes, as the Obama administration is now facing a court order to release secret memos on using drones to kill Americans suspected of terrorism overseas. Our chief intelligence correspondent, Catherine Harris, is live in Washington with more on this story. Catherine? Well, thank you, Jenna. A Yemeni government official confirming to Fox News a short time ago that the recent propaganda video released by al-Qaeda in Yemen, which got a lot of play last week, was a gold mine for intelligence revealing the faces of operatives, identifying their vehicles, even the license plates, and the location in the rugged mountains of southern Yemen, an area that is largely outside the government's control and similar to the lawless tribal areas of Pakistan. The Yemeni government source says the video was a total miscalculation by al-Qaeda in Yemen, helping the security forces narrow the focus of the operation, which came in three waves over the weekend. This is the first time that Yemeni security forces trained by U.S. counterterrorism teams have carried out night raids with the support of U.S. airstrikes. Fox News has also told this morning that the target was not the leadership of al-Qaeda in Yemen, which includes Nasser al-Wahashi, a longtime aide to Osama bin Laden, you see him there on the right, nor the bomb maker Ibrahim al-Asiri, who was behind the failed underwear bomb plot in 2009. This source emphasizing that the two men Men do not travel with the large groups of recruits and go to great lengths to avoid the training camps, which are an obvious target for counterterrorism strikes. This Yemeni government official also explaining the operation was designed to break up the support network for AQAP and the recruitment network. They had intelligence that they were preparing an attack on an oil facility where foreign nationals work, Jenna. Interesting. Catherine, thank you. You're welcome. The Supreme Court hearing arguments right now in a case that could change how you watch.